man designs. It's not a company, but an idea. Companies die, ideas live forever. The idea is to evoke emotion. If we make you feel love, hate, or anything in between, then our job is done. I got problems, got problems, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. Kid on the vlog is in the building, baby. It is our fifth episode. Yeah, guys, it comes f first of all, it comes highly anticipated from our side. Myself and Man Designs have been waiting uh, to actually put this together, and I know you guys have been waiting as well. We do apologize for the two week break that we took, it is primarily because we lost our tapes, we lost our content. Um, kind of thinking that one day we'll give you that the, co the lost content when you do find it, just like Nas gave us uh, the lost tapes. Uh, but yeah, man, to get straight into it, first and foremost, there's been so much happening in the country. For the first part of this show, segment one is who is saying what. Now, with all that's been happening in the country, guys, the Rugby World Cup, playing India, cricket, it's a great sporting week. I mean, we're having so much fun. Then the Springboks drop a bomb on us. And this happens when a video surfaces on social media of a young man, very talented player, 11 tries, 11 games, Mr. Mampimpi himself. Uh, there's a video of him where he's being sidelined by a group of players just after the match you know they hug each other and as he's approaching you know they sideline him one of the guys that weighs number 20 was the last one to join the huddle and you know he tosses his hand and then france stain as makazole mampimpi walks the other way kind of like shoes him off and yeah man it was like wow when the video surfaced everyone was like wow Especially, I, I, can, I can imagine how disappointing it should have been for so many South Africans because, I mean, there's so much to celebrate. We've just beaten Italy by a large margin, if I remember correctly. It should have been like 49-4, somewhere there, 49-5, somewhere there. So, so we're in a, in, a, in a moment where we're supposed to be celebrating this great victory and, you know, something like this happens. But more than that, right, people had their own opinions about what was going on. I had my own opinions about what was going on. The rest of the country, because I think it trended at number one for an entire day. A lot of people had their opinions about what was happening. So, a couple of, uh, in fact, the next morning, actually, uh, Magazole Mambimbi releases a video. Now, I, I'm Sutu, and I grew up predominantly Kosa. But I, I, I understand the gestures that a Kosa man will make when he is not necessarily telling the truth. But before I even get there, allow me to play you guys the video so that we can both at least get a glimpse of what exactly is going on. Now, let's say, let's say. Hi guys, this is your boy. I'm going to say that I'm a pimpy. I'm going to say that I'm a T-Rex. I'm a Milan man, guys, man. And one of the video is trend I up on Twitter, on Facebook, on uh, Instagram, as you see. And so, and for now, explain why in don't dance, guys. So, up to me, guys, seen them bomb squad. So, a bomb squad just players suka a punching, singing a second half or whatever. So, many calls zabo, many spirits zabo, but but we say na is bomb squad. So as you see when I said the Indians are killing so after normally after a game, see Bamba na izanda and the team be chala na yo, so ne players zonke. So if if Bomb at that time, ala kashubo na ngalba be 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 ne bonge. So be be za busy call ya bo bo ne as Bomb Squad. So no go ambe ndi walker ke ba ndi be za rubuli samando. Na bo na ki Bomb Squad le yo kuba e. Like a basic call, so I get down on the son that we are um, as you see on 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 the video. Otherwise, a condo wrong, guys. Muni, cheers, guys. Yeah, I don't know, eh? I, I, I don't know. I'm look, like I said, I grew up predominantly closer, 
uh, which must already suggest that I've probably told a lot of lies in my life. Now I'm joking, guys. Um, but, but I mean, you can see the gesture from someone who's sincerely saying something that is coming from the most honest part of him. Um, you know, especially given where he is, he's at the Rugby World Cup. You know, he, he's trying to bring about unity over something that he believes that did not happen. And he's delivering it like this. How convinced is this man? And second of all, um, if, if you saw the video, as he approaches this little huddle, he tosses his hand and then Franz Stein, you know, kind of shoes him off. Bomb squad... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But one thing um, that, you know, a thought that came to me that I think is very profound, actually, is after, you know, I read this book by Jackie Nodia that says Finding the Rainbow, uh, a personal journey in the new South Africa. And what it basically speaks about is transformation. And, and you know, transformation always tackles a few fundamentals whenever, you know, it needs to happen. And a large part of those fundamentals are the culture. That is, you know, this one is is, is based oh, cause. This one is based on 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 how to transform companies. But I took it in context and I made it about you know the South African Rugby Union and the transformation that needs to happen in the culture. Not only you know seeing the black faces or seeing the white faces or the colored faces or whatever, but also making it a point that the culture, because you can call me into a team, right? And and for an example, let's say you work for a corporate and in that corporate every Friday, everyone wears a rugby t-shirt and we all do the haka and, and, and you know, let's say there's this haka that's predominant in the Afrikaans community and that's the one we decided to go with. And, you know, every Friday we have to do that. And I don't know the words, nor am I familiar with how to do this whole hacker thing. It, it, it sidelines me and it's embedded in the culture of that company. So it's part of the things that need to go. Maybe we shouldn't have a bomb squad. Right. But yeah, man. Um, also, uh, some some contributing factors. And I think uh, together with, with, with man designs and, and, and myself, we always choose who we identify with. And in this case, Upra Robert Marawa is one of the guys that we really, really identify with. Especially because he's someone who we can say his opinions are not censored. He, 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 his ideas don't come from a narrative. Remember in the past episodes, we've always said we shy away from narratives and politicizing things because there can be truth in a narrative and there can be so much absence of truth in a narrative. Because I want you to see me in this way and this person wants you to see them in a different way. And because of that, we, we sometimes fail to carry the truth with us because maybe the idea doesn't agree with the truth. But Upra Rob, because he's no longer a Robert Marawa of SABC, he's no longer a Robert Marawa of Super Sport. He's uh, a Robert Marawa of Marawa TV. He, he came out and he, he spoke explicitly and he said, hey, listen, guys, um, maybe because this guy scored 11 tries in 11 games, he's now closing off the opportunity maybe for some young upcoming white player we don't know you know understand but but these are the, the the things that we need to think about and 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 he went on to even say why is it that uma bimbi is the one uma bimbi rather is the one who has to explain this whole phenomenon of a bomb squad in the in the in the south african national rugby team why is it that france stain who shoot him off is not the one having to explain and, and part of the ideas that I, you know, came into my mind, I, I said to myself, I, I wonder how uncomfortable Uman Bimbi is all the way far from home in Japan, chilling with these guys. And it's like he's now the cause for the country to turn against the, 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 the South African rugby team. You know, um, it's, it's a very difficult position for him to be in. And like I said, again, the video for me. Not really convincing. But yeah, man, that has been the first segment, uh, which is who's saying what. Really, 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 guys, a heated week in South Africa. But one thing that makes it even more heated is what we're about to talk about. And the second segment, we uh, are going to speak about letting your cash act. Okay, so there is something that recently um, surfaced as well. Uh, in the country, yeah, this country is very busy, guys. South Africa as a country generally is so busy, right? And how busy they are is that they, they are busy enough to go and look for ways to make money. Toodles to you guys. But again, the manner in which we do it is that of a, how can I make my quickest buck? 
Now, there's a WhatsApp stock fell. Also, came up number one, trending through Wednesday, right through to Thursday. Still trending even now. Um, where you join a WhatsApp group, right? And you deposit 200 bucks. And as you deposit 200 bucks, the recipient of that 200 bucks obviously would have already already paid um, 200 bucks. So you deposit 200 bucks and when your name comes up on the list, you receive 1,200 bucks. And then you're supposed to deposit 200 bucks of that so that the next person can be paid and so on and so on and so on. So for me, this is not a new phenomenon because um, not so long ago, it should have been about four or five years ago, this thing did happen just after the eras of your triple M's and whatnot. It happened and a friend of mine well, was trying to understand exactly how this thing works and, you know, because I, I'll be honest, I participated and I got a quick buck out of it and it later on fa fell uh, but 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 a friend of mine wanted me to make him understand how exactly this WhatsApp stock fell works. So I explained to him, listen, bro, you deposit your money and so on and so on and so on and you get your dividends and you deposit again and the next person in line and so on and so on. But what it needs is proof that I actually did deposit. And the person who received the money needs to acknowledge that, OK, I received the money. So this person is next in line to be paid because he's already made his contribution so i said to him okay let me show you something because one who was the first person that deposited and who did he deposit to everyone always joins these groups and there's no trail of of you for you to see who previously got paid because it's a whatsapp group if you join it now you'll only see messages that were sent after you joined so you kind of don't have like a paper trail of what exactly happened prior so if you see people in the group and people are saying they got paid you take their word for it so i said to him listen this thing is a big scam let me show you how it's done join this group so he went in joined the group and i said to him now start your own whatsapp group on the side started his own whatsapp group on the side and i said send a link of your whatsapp group into the new group and tell everyone in that group that you've now opened a fresher, more banging stock file that pays quicker and see how many people actually join. I kid you not, probably 95% of the people in the other group, I think they even kicked him out because he was apparently stealing the clientele, um, joined the new group. And as they joined the new group, I said, okay, put my name in, right? I have WhatsApp, I have a cell phone device, put your name in and put your brother's name in right as the people that have already received payments and we made a bogus sms from capitec edited it screenshot and then we sent it through and he said i confirm i've just received 200 rands from sepang he's the first person that needs to be paid i get my 1200 rands i act as if i'm paying him uh in fact he acts as if he's paying me as the recipient for the 1200 rands you know in in, in 200 rands uh coming in from each individual and you know he i acknowledge that he's now paid so he's next in line to receive money his brother acknowledges that he paid him so he's next in line to receive money so between the three of us already we're looking at 3600 rands that we're gonna get when we didn't come like um, um contribute nothing at all right so what then happens is because he's now the the person who is administering the group he can kind of be the one to dictate who's next in line and kind of like you know make sure that we are up there in the list quicker than everyone else so while you guys think that um this whatsapp group is something that is for the people by the people there's people behind it administering it and handling these financial affairs and maybe you are paying one two three odd people so that it you know it can continue and people can see that wow it really pays you understand so so this whatsapp thing is really 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 a scam and and i think south africans should really just get into the habit of of validating you know uh financial interests or, or things that you want to enter into that should yield dividends you know validate make sure that you know it, it's something that's actually lucrative and it's something that's proper and don't just hop into something when you don't even know what's going on but again new kid in the vlog again is dropping knowledge making it a point that you know very well what is legit and not and this has been the fifth episode of new kid in the vlog but before we let you guys go please don't forget to subscribe to man designs on youtube and please guys make it a point that you follow at new kid underscore t45 on twitter and we promise you banging content for days but for now keep on keeping on like subscribe and share this has been episode five baby oh, I got problems, I know. yeah